Uh, hello, uh, welcome to my APS talk. Uh, my name is Han Gao, and I'm a third-year PhD student at the University of Notre Dame, and my advisor is Dr. Jian Xun Wang. Today, I will present a unifying framework for solving forward and inverse fluid mechanics problem via graph neural networks. This work is also in collaboration with Dr. Masu Zhar. As we know, CFD simulation has become an essential tool for us to explore flow physics and make predictions for example, blood flow is usually difficult to measure non-invasively, and a CFD simulation can enable us to obtain hemodynamic details and extract functional information for clinical treatment. As long as the proper boundary condition is set up, we can obtain the numerical result by running the CFD model in a forward manner. The whole procedure is well-defined, and this procedure is usually known as a forward problem. However, in many practical scenarios, the boundary condition or me mechanical parameters are usually unknown. On the other hand, um, we may have access to limited flow observation, which could be sparse and indirect. To take advantage of forward safety simulation, we need to solve the inverse problem to infer the right boundary condition or mechanical parameters. For example, in cardiovascular applications, we usually do not know the inflow and outflow boundary condition, material property, and the vessels, and so on, since it is hard to even impossible to measure non-invasively. But we could get some sparse observations, such as flow information on limited number of 2D slices from medical image technology, like PCMRI. This kind of scenario necessitates efficiently and accurately solving the inverse problem. Currently, there are two main types of approaches of solving inverse problem. The first is a gradient-based method, such as the adjoint method. In this approach, the governing equation is associated with the adjoint equation, which needs to be solved right after solving the original PDE to obtain the gradient information for updating the parameters to be inferred. The, uploaded, the updated parameters will jump into the primal PDEs for the next iteration until convergence. The drawback of the gradient-based method is highly code-intrusive. It is not the case for every solver that is equipped with a corresponding adjoint solver. Another approach is the sample-based method that formulated from a Bayesian perspective, which uses many samples to approximate the posterior distribution of the unknown parameter. Not, the, not that each sample means, no, know that each sample means an expensive hypothetical simulation. Although it is intrusive, <clears throat> it is not intrusive and very easy to couple any legacy solver as black box. The bottleneck of this method is the high computational cost. Before we introduce our method to solve this forward inverse problem, let us look at the problem set. The inverse problem can be formulated as an optimization problem. Find the unknown parameters and the solution that minimize the discrepancy between the solution and observation with the con constraint. The solution is object to the PDEs with the parameters and all approaches, as mentioned earlier, actually separate the forward solving and updating in each iteration. And we aim to find the solution and the parameters simultaneously without iterative solving PDEs. Here, we propose a novel framework that solves the forward inverse problem in a unified manner based on the deep graph neural network with finite element discretization. Firstly, we represent the solution field with basis function and neural network nodal coefficients. Then we calculate the local residual of the weak form for each element and finally assemble them as the global residual. We store the evaluation of the basis functions as tensors in GPU and operate the flux and source function of PDEs in GPU. The unknown network and physical parameters are set as trainable parameters to be updated during the network training. We use stochastic gradient design to conduct optimization and minimize the residual by updating the unknown solutions and parameters. In this way, as you can see, the solution and the unknown parameters are solved simultaneously and they only need to be solved once. To handle the unstructured meshes, we use the graph neural network to preserve the nodal position and relation. The graph network structure enable neural, neural lurking methods on any arbitrary irregular domains. Here we will show a proof of concept study uh, to demonstrate the merit of our proposed approach. We consider a steady state flow in 2D stenosis geometry, assuming the inlet velocity profile is unknown. However, we have access 
to some velocity observation on very sparse locations. As known as the dots in this figure, our goal is to recover the full field velocity and pressure solution as well as infer the unknown velocity in that profile. This sparse velocity data is synthetic, which is generated from FEM solver. As you can see, our graph-based neural lurking method can accurately solve the velocity field, which is benchmarked against the CFD reference. Meanwhile, it is also able to precisely infer the inlet BC, which agree with the ground truth pretty well. 